hi guys welcome back to my youtube channel so if today is your first time on this channel you are welcome my name is bella so today we're going to be making a jumpsuit so a jumpsuit is basically um your high waist pants or your high waist trouser plus your bodice okay it's just as if you're making a dress or a gown with a half cut okay at the waist it's the same thing with your jumpsuit. It's the combination of the upper part, that is your half cut, your basic bodies. You can use any type of basic bodies you want. You can use off shoulder, you can use um, uh, overlapping, you can use any kind of uh, basic bodies you, you desire, okay? And your high waist pants, okay? So I have a detailed video on cutting a trouser high waist and my my method is you can use it for any type of trouser you want to cut so i'll leave the link in the description box below okay it's very very detailed you need to understand your trouser pattern before attempting to cut um to cut a jumpsuit okay so jumpsuit is not hard it is just basically the combination of your or of your basic bodies and your basic trouser pattern high waist okay so um the measurements you'll be needing are all the necessary measurements for your basic bodies okay the bust the waist the half length the shoulder all those basic basic uh measurements then the, for the trouser to the basic measurements for your trouser you need your waist you need your crotch depth your tie your new your trouser length and all those stuff okay so um for crotch depth, this is where most of us make uh, mistakes or are having issues. Sometimes you 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 sew a trouser or a or a jumpsuit and the person cannot sit well, okay? Or it's too tight or you know the, our crotch depth is basically the issue most of us used to have. And I already told us to get a perfect crotch depth, tie a tape rule or a bias on where the person keeps his or her trouser okay where i keep my trouser might not be the same place that um your customer keeps your trouser keeps her own trouser so ask the person where they keep their own trouser and taking trouser measurement it is um it is of importance it is very very good that the person wears trouser too so you can see where they place their trouser you tie a tape rule around that waist or a bias tape then you ask them to sit on a flat surface you will see the picture on your screen you ask them to sit on a flat surface surface then you take your tape roof by the side okay by measuring by the side you take a tape roof and place it on that uh tied tape roof at their waist or bias that you tied on the waist down to the flat surface this is called the body rise or the seat or the crotch depth so with this you would definitely not have issue with your trouser okay though some people use formula like hip divided by four plus one or minus one depends on where they want to place the trouser but this is just how i take mine and it's always perfect okay so for jumpsuit now if you want to take it using that same method you're going to be tying it at their half length okay and the half length where your upper bodies will stop that is where you tie your tape rule then you take their measurement from that tied um waist area down to the flat surface of um of where they are sitting okay i don't want this video to be too long i'm going to be drafting the pants now then you can use any bodies of your choice okay if you want to use my own bodies too i will draft it okay so um let's get started so so for my tie i do my tie measurements the tie measurement you took on your customer plus two in this case my tie is 27 plus two will give me 29 divided by two will give me 14.5 but since i am making um not so tight not so free trouser or, or jumpsuit i'm going to be approximating it to 15. so remember the formula i use for my own tie tie plus two divided by two 
for my waist, waist divided by four plus two. Okay, that plus two is one for one for sewing allowance, and the other one is for that in case you're putting that. But in my own case, now I am not going to be using that, so I'm going to allow that extra one inch to just be free because the the uh, jumpsuit I'm making is kind of free. That is why they used the belts at the waist area to give it a little bit of shape. So just do whatever you want. I recommend you see my trouser video. That video is very, very detailed. Okay. From my starting line, I'm going to come down to my crotch depth, which is, which is um 14. Okay. My crotch depth, which is... Let me use 13 and a half because actually her crotch depth is 13 but because it's a jumpsuit i want it to drop a little okay so if you're using formula to get it maybe your client is not around you can just do heat divided by four okay if it's um a jumpsuit you just add two inches to it okay it's it works though i always tell us i i like taking measurements from this um starting edge i'm going to mark out one inch from here i'm going to take one inch you will see the reason for the one inch so from this one inch you impute your waist measurement okay you impute your waist measurement. So in my own case, my waist measurement is 40 plus divided by 4, 10 plus 2, 12. So here it is. Okay. So this um 12 we put here, bring it down to your crotch, um your crotch depth line. The same 12. This is just to give you um a straight line. Okay. Now on your crotch depth line, starting from the edge of your paper now, not at this one inch, at the edge of your paper, impute your tie measurement. So remember my own case, I have 15. Tie plus 2 divided by 2. Okay. So from here now, I'm going to be marking one inch out. I'm using angle 45. Just mark out a straight line, angle 45 degree. And I'll measure one inch. You might ask me if it's constant. Oh, well, I like using one inch for medium size people and 1.5 inches for plus sizes. Okay, so that's the answer. So I'm going to connect, I'm going to connect, I'm connecting this here, this here and allowing it to touch this line, okay, I'll connect. So from this um line here, this uh, edge of the paper, connect back to your waist. Okay, connect to your waist. This is just to give it um, that feminine hip um, stuff. Just that feminine hip stuff. I don't want it to be curvy. You know, I don't really want it to be curvy. So, this is it. So, this is what we have. So we are done with um, this place. So for the down part, my new length is 24. So from my waist, I'm going to mark 24. And from my waist, I'm going to mark the length of my trouser, which is 46. Okay. Now you need to get the middle point of your trouser. How do you do that? You divide what your tie measurement, this 15 now, you're going to divide it. This From this part to this part, you're going to divide it. 
into 2 and you should be having 7.5 because 15 divided by 2 is 7.5 so you mark 7.5 straight down okay that is the middle of your trouser you connect with a straight ruler so after getting your straight line you're going to impute your new measurements okay so um my round nail is 18 so divided by 2 will give me 9 that's 9 you're going to share it between these two parts that you've um um shared okay so that that will give me 4.5 on this side 4.5 on this side okay so this is how you're going to put it 4.5 here and 4.5 here so because um the jumpsuit i'm making is a straight one is it is a it's not a pencil i'm going i'm just going to take this same measurement down to my you might not be seeing it but i'm the same thing i did here that is what i'm doing at the hem okay 4.5 here and 4.5 here okay it's just the same thing Now you connect with a straight ruler from the hem part to the nail part. You connect with a straight ruler. Then from this nail part to the crotch area you connect with your um pant curve or your curve ruler whichever one you have okay so you can see how i'm trying i don't want it to be too curvy okay so i'm trying to blend it in you can see how i blended it so I'm going to connect this side to from the hem to the nail with a straight ruler as well. Okay, from the nail to um, the crotch depth line, I'm going to be connecting it with a straight ruler, but later I'm going to be blending it up to avoid sharp points. Okay. So I will blend up all, all edges or all areas to avoid sharp points. So just blend up. Yeah. So this is our pants. Our pants is ready. Okay. Remember, I added two inches allowance at the hem for hemming. Okay. So our pants is ready so i'm just connecting down my measurement to my sewing allowance okay so the front part is ready look at what we have here okay it's ready now for the back part because i want to use this same i want to use the same one for the back okay so for the back part at this crotch area come out by 1.5 inches to 2 inches it depends on on how big the person you're working with is so i like 2 inches just to avoid unnecessary stress maybe it's tight it's not fitting properly you know all those kind of um complaints so to avoid it I come out by two inches from this curved line will come out by two inches then at this crotch area I'm going to come in come out by three and a half inches or three inches so let's just do three inches okay so I'll take the three inches straight down 
straight down the three inches that's what i'm taking straight down all right so at this upper part you come up by one inch 1.5 to 2 inches it just depends on the box like how big the box of the person is so since i have one inch here just make use of that here okay so i'll connect the same way you connected for the front you need your straight ruler from the hem okay straight ruler from the hem to the nail okay then from the nail you need your curved ruler to blend up okay so here you're connecting from here to here and blend back to this line okay So this is for the back so this one inch here you use a straight ruler to connect it back down to the waist okay so so this is our back pattern and it is ready if you notice i did not add any allowance by this side okay all allowance was added at the front area okay so we cut out now okay so guys this is what we have after cutting remember that this is the back pattern okay after you finish transferring the back pattern to your fabric that is when you now cut out the red line okay that is when you now cut out the red line which is your front pattern all right so we are um, i will now i'll transfer this to my fabric and also transfer the front which is the red marker okay i'll transfer the front to my fabric the front and back now let's cut the upper body that is if you want to use my own um the one you're seeing on your screen okay if you want to use that upper body now follow me to cut it as to cut the um, upper part this is my basic body is drafted okay um so because the upper part of the one i'm about to make has a kimono or cut together sleeve with it so i'm going to extend the length of my shoulder okay for the sleeve to accommodate the sleeve part all right so um this is my actual shoulder measurement so from here i'm going to start imputing the actual sleeve length which is nine okay nine inches modifying my basic bodies if you don't know how to draft the basic bodies please click the link in the description box below to see my videos on how to um draft a basic body okay so after extending this to nine inches all right from here that's the length of the sleeve i want to use you impute your own sleeve length okay this is the length of the sleeve i want to use okay now so here the length of here determines the roundness of the uh the circumference of your sleeve the round of your sleeve that will determine how wide this place is going to be mine is also nine inches okay so i'm i'm, I'm still going to maintain this chest line of nine inches okay this nine inches so i'll mark a straight line so if yours is 10 inches you come down by 10 inches if yours is 11 inches if yours is 8 inches whatever your own case is please come down by the number okay but i'm using nine because that's what i want to use okay now you're going to connect i hope you're seeing here we are going to connect from this place like this with your curve you're just going to curve it in like this so i'll be making use of this curve you're just going to be curving it in back to the waist um measurement 
my allowance has been included in these measurements okay all allowances has been included so this is my cut together sleeve all right this is what i have so um there is a turn up turn up i'm going to be doing a turn up for the sleeve so i'll just add having cheese allowance for my sleeve um turn up okay so this is it this is what we have then for the shoulder slants we're going to be following this our shoulder slants here okay this is what we have so i forgot to do this initially since we are having um i forgot to take um my nine inches after my shoulder slant so you can see now that after taking this shoulder slant my nine inches has reduced so i'm going to still bring it down okay i'm going to make up for it down please you can do this step before taking you can do the shoulder step before um taking your round arm oh please okay i omitted that so what i have here is seven and a half so i'm going to bring down to nine inches or nine and a half because i'm still going to be joining okay so please remember this so let me bring this down this step i omitted it you should have done this before you should um take your shoulder slant before imputing your round arm O, okay? So this is what I have, okay? This, not this one again now, this is the original one now, all right? So my half length has um, half inch allowance for joining the trouser part, okay? And I used my neckline, I used three and a half, okay? I use three and a half for the neck and I also use three and a half for the neck depth. Three and a half by three and a half. So for the back one, I'm going to be using one and a half for the back neck line. One and a half. okay so this is what we have okay this is what we're going to cut out now remember that the front has a, a keyhole or a hole in front okay so this part i'm going to be doing on this paper just for the illustrations sake i'm not going to be drawing that but i will not cut it out okay because you need to open up your paper your fabric or your paper this paper is supposed to be on fold so when you open it up you choose the side you want it to be and remember that this drafting is for both front and back so we're not going to cut it open until we transfer it to the fabric okay so um what i normally do is to take my shoulder to my nipple point in this case is 10 inches okay then shoulder to under bust which is 14 inches you know that that will give me i'll measure what i have from my nipple point to my shoulder point that is four so from that nipple point i'll come up by four inches this is just to know where my bust line will fall like where to limit so that i won't expose the bust area i hope you understand what i'm talking about okay this is just to give me a guide that whatever i'm doing up here i should not go below this line because anything below this line will show cleavage hope you get how i got this figure my boss point shoulder to boss point and shoulder to under boss the difference between them is four so from that shoulder to boss um to boss point i came up by that four inches this will give me a guideline to to know that whatever whichever circle or whichever shape i'm drawing here i should not exceed this line because if i exceed this line cleavage must show except you want to show cleavage then it's not a problem okay so 
from here i'll be taking one and a half inches from my shoulder one and a half inches because i'm going to use half inches to join i'm going to be using half inches to turn so from here i want at the end of the day let's one one inch remain so you can do whatever you want it totally depends on you so from here i'll be taking about two inches okay about two inches so from here i'll come down like five inches you can do more five inches or more then i'll give it a shape just just give it the shape you like okay the shape you want so i'm trying to give it a shape this is the shape i do you can do better than me okay you can do any shape you can make it slant okay but i'll not cut it out yet until i'm done transferring this to my to my fabric cut facing for this you can cut facing for this thing cut facing for your neckline or use bias for your neckline whichever way you think you can finish the dress or the top you do So this is what we have here okay and this is what we have here so this will be joining this here like this and this is our jumpsuit that's what i said jumpsuit is a combination of the upper part and your trouser okay so now what we are going to do is I'm going to be transferring this to my fabric okay then you transfer your trouser to to your fabric then you sew it completely you join everything you need to join completely okay then this trouser part to join everything you want to join if you want to add pockets add pocket everything you want to join you're using half inch to join the crotch area then you're using one inch to join the sides okay when you join the sides then here also you're using one inch to join the sides here okay remember the, the waist of the upper part and the waist of the trouser is must match use half inch to join here turn your neckline and everything then you join the waist part and add your zipper to the back you guys learn to me you join the waist part please remember to add zipper allowance okay you join the waist part and add zipper to the back and your trouser or your jumpsuit is ready so i'll go now to couple this up and i will show us what we have if you have any question please don't forget to don't forget to leave your question in the comment section below so i'll go right now to couple this all this thing but just follow my instructions and you get it perfectly i'll go now to couple them up transfer to my fabric couple them up and i'll show us what we have on the mannequin i've made a lot of trouser tutorials so please go and see them okay all right guys this is what we have made okay you can see the neckline i used um facing for it okay i used facing the opening to i used facing you can see the pins okay i'm yet to iron i'm yet to iron it okay so this is our jumpsuit i'm yet to iron it this is our jumpsuit okay so all you need to do is to use facing to turn the opening and the neckline this is our jumpsuit and this is the trouser pocket if you don't know how to fix a pocket on a trouser 
let me know if, if you want me to make a video on that okay so it was pinned at the back because the owner of the jumpsuit is much more a uh, bigger than bigger than the mannequin so this is our jumpsuit okay it has a zipper at the back thank you guys so much for watching i will see us in my next video till then bye don't forget to subscribe like and share